Hey everyone, Sophia here for My Great Challenge. Welcome back to my channel and a deep clean episode. We are in the boys' bathroom. It's the second floor bathroom that in the old days used to be the boys slash guest bathroom. Um, I don't use it at all. <laughs> it's really for Scott and the kids because Scott is always on the computer. You know, he works from home. Um, doing freelance remote stuff right now and then the two boys live right across um, I, I'm really really in here um, but I do clean it but when I clean it I do the minimum meaning that I will do the toilet I will do the sink I will vacuum and mop the floor once in a while um, I'll wipe the outside of the shower I rinse the shower um, what did I do the other day that was a little bit different? I washed the walls a little bit, like, you know, if they were stained, like, you know, blue toothpaste, stuff like that, but I really don't do anything deep in here. And boy, does it show, because, like most people in my area, we have hard water. And as a result, there's hard water deposit in the toilet, there's hard water deposit all over the uh, shower tubs around. Um, I'm looking at the tub. <laughs> It's in better days. Um, and then the floor. The grout, again, it's not black, it's white. <laughs> but when you look at it, it's black. <laughs> I remember washing it once, uh, cleaning it, if you remember, all the old episode. Um, and I had the whole grout nice and white, and now it's back to black. So, yeah. I'm going to do a deep clean. Um, I'm going to do it in a way that's a little bit more structured than usual. The specific things that I need to do. I give you a for instance. I'm actually going to start by taking down the uh, shower liner and the shower curtain and taking them to the wash so that they get washed and clean while I'm doing all of this. And then I'm doing a top to bottom again. And I will wash the ceiling. Uh, this is a thorough, thorough, deep clean <laughs> so i hope you enjoy it um fair warning it's not gonna be pretty um because this i'm lowered on the floor right now when you look at it from the top you don't see it but apparently this mold underneath the soap dish and um yeah, so it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> and it's also a small bathroom, so it's difficult to film. Um, I will try to do different angles, but again, I'm kind of reduced and I'm quite large myself. So between me and the tripod, <laughs> we pretty much fill up the whole space. Um, okay, let's get started. I have some deep cleaning to do. Let's talk supplies. Um, I got microfiber and whatnot rags. I have my uh, mop bucket, which I just refilled with scalding hot water and Dettol, uh, which is a um, disinfectant that's used uh, in England mostly as a um, hospital cleaner, actually. And then I got some other stuff uh, because I do have. A lot of hard water deposit that I'm going to show you and um, I'm going to need CLR so we're going to use CLR which is for those of you who don't know it's calcium lime and rust remover so we're going to use that um, we're going to use a scarring stick it's basically like a pumice stone they have a more fancy one that's on the stick itself, you know, like it has a handle. I do plan on wearing gloves this time around, but basically it looks like this. And it took me three stores to find it. The two previous ones were out of it. It's just a testament that um, everybody in the area has hard water and everybody is using those <laughs> to remove the hard water. But I did find it after the third store. And then, uh, no, that's my pledge, that's different. 
And then I got this. I've never tried this before, so we're gonna try it out today. This is called Hard Water Stain Remover, cleans and seals in one process. So this is really to use like um, on the shower glass part. And then once I've um, cleaned everything and removed most of the hard water, I will use it on the tiles as well. So it removes all of the soap scum and hard water that is on the surfaces around your tub. And apparently not only does it clean it, but it seals it for up to three months. So we'll see. And it looks like I cleaned the shower glass not too long ago, probably in one of my cleaning sessions in here. Um, so that's what I'm using. And then my regular cleaner is gonna be Detol. I actually have the bottle that was here last time, if you remember, that was empty. I'm going to go and refill it and put some Detol in it because I'll need to do other surfaces. Um, so yeah, let me start by giving you a tour so you know what the bathroom looks like and then I'll get started. Okay, here we are again. Uh, you saw it last week. <laughs> this is the bathroom. It's maintained, you know, somewhat, um, but it's not great and it's old. I see I didn't replace the bulb. Hopefully I'll remember today. So this ceiling was actually painted maybe a year or two years ago. I'm gonna wash it. All the walls are gonna get washed. The toilet's gonna get seriously, seriously washed. And actually, um, I'm thinking of doing something today. I heard that if you put shaving cream all the way around it, not only does it really, really clean it, but it also removes all smells. You know, I get boys. <laughs> um, and yeah, so this whole area here, you see how it's peeling where I had painted. Now, all of this, actually, let me show you inside the tub. This is what, if you knew, this is what the tiles used to look like. It's a... Uh, speckled type thing and once in a while there was one of those uh you can see that some of them the design is gone so i don't know how old this is i think it's probably 50s or 60s i'm glad it's you know somewhat white uh, a pink bathroom would have been really tough um but what i did was paint it and it stayed really well again it stayed really well look at that except except at the bottom in areas where I really wash because that is um, you know the behind of the toilet and the paint is peeling there so all of that's gonna get clean um, the tub okay yeah the tub what <laughs> all right and then the soap dish again uh, when you look at it from the top no problem but then yeah I gotta do that um, Tub. I'm going to try to get it white again. Um, I'm going to try to get, let me see, at least I have no shame, all right? Um, it is what it is. I'm going to try to get this cleaned again in my bathroom. I cannot remove it um, because the screw that's underneath the cap is completely oxidized and rusted out, so I absolutely cannot remove this knob. Um, all right, so we got this. Okay, all of this here. Yeah, that needs to get clean. Uh, this is not too bad because I do clean it occasionally, okay? Um, this is all rust, so I don't know if the CLR is gonna take care of it. But look, we got all of this hard water deposit here that needs to be removed. Um, and this is actually not too bad because, yeah, again, I do wipe it, you know. I'm not doing a great job, but I do the best I can. All right, and then here, the toilet, you can see uh, all over at the bottom that I have hard water deposit in there. So that's what the scouring um, stick is for. And, of course, all of this here needs to get cleaned. Um, what else? The baseboards. Um... Yeah, they need to get clean and the grout. Okay, so the grout, I'm telling you, the grout is white. <laughs> and then when we get towards the top, it's all black um, because water. 
And then over here, the entrance, it's definitely in need of cleaning. And I gotta do all the corners. I'm telling you, deep clean, guys, deep clean. And you know, one of the things that I really like to do with this channel, and I say it all the time, is keeping it real, right? Um, I know that a lot of people would not be showing the tub or, you know, the bathroom if it was in the state. Um, you know, that's fine, but I believe that I'm not the only one. And I'm doing those videos really to normalize regular people because that's what I am. I'm regular. <laughs> There's no extra coming out of me. <laughs> and what you see is what you get. And I struggle, you know, my great challenge. I just struggle. Lately, I've been very good because I have a new cleaning routine that I will share with you. Um, probably first week in May and um, or thereabout and it's my own and I've been doing it for going on seven weeks now and it's working great everything gets clean once a week <laughs> once a week that's all I can do um, because of my schedule so I do the best I can and most of you do the best you can and you will get behind sometimes you know um, I don't know when's the last time I put this thing in a wash. It's been a while. Um, this, I believe, is not so long ago because, I mean, it's got soap scum on it, but it's not that bad. So we're going to put both of them in the wash. And by the way, I don't remember if it was on this channel or not. Um, if I was on YouTube when I did it, but there used to be glass doors here. They were sliding glass doors and it's cool <laughs> you know when it's just you and the kids but that's really the only tub where i can wash the dogs and washing the dogs with sliding doors is impossible because you only have half of the tub available to you so when the two doors are side up in front of each other on this side you basically can only operate on this side which is fine because the faucet is right here, you know, and you can use the handheld thing. But if your dog goes all the way on the other side of the tub, your back is ruined. <laughs> so I figured, all right, let me switch. We're going to go over here instead, right? And it's the same thing. So I couldn't take it anymore. And it was constantly trying to clean them. They were covered in that hard water stuff. It, it was just so difficult. So I took them out. I took them out. What I really want to do is take the whole thing out. So I was thinking, why don't I just remove all of this and then I just keep the tub, you know, floating basically. And I get a um, shower curtain that's hanging from the ceiling. I mean, the bar for the shower curtain, right? Would be hanging from the ceiling and I get a shower curtain, two of them, they join here at the end. And you can leave them open, and when you walk in, there would be more space. I'm really still thinking about doing that until I can get either the bath fitters or whoever else. A local guy can come in um, and rip this whole thing. I know some of you are probably going like, when is she going to start cleaning? <laughs> um, so I had removed the whole thing, right? but I needed to be able to put a curtain. So I bought pipe holders and I screwed them in on the top here. Maybe you can see this one right there. And that pipe holder holds a shower, uh, an extension thing. And that's how I hold my shower curtain. But in order for me to be able to take it out, oh. So I just take it out like this. You know, every time I deal with plastic shower curtain, the first thing that comes to mind was plastic rims, plane trains, and automobiles. Do you ever see the movie? We love it. Um, so back in the days, I used to have the metal ones. You know, the ones that have the little beads on top? They're the worst. They rusted within six months. Had a rust all over. Oh man, not for anything, but removing those is a workout on its own. 
Okay, I'm done. going to the laundry. So what I want to see is how liquid the CLR is because then I'll put it in that spray bottle that I have here. Okay so it looks like it's liquid enough so that's good. I'll put some in there. I'll have to label it. I don't know how much I'm gonna use. It doesn't have much of a scent. I can already see the comments, Sophia, you should be wearing gloves when you're handling CLR. I'm aware. I have my mop ready with my Dettol and hot water and I'm gonna go ahead and start mopping the ceiling. I know you're gonna get on my case. Bad enough, I didn't use the gloves on the CLR because this idiot right here read 80% plant based. And I was like, oh, it's natural. Didn't read the part that says it's skin irritant. <sighs> anyway, we're gonna try this hard water stain remover. So, for once, we're gonna read instructions. Apply to surface with dry or damp cloth. Press firmly, loosening the stain with a rubbing action. Rinse with water until residue is free. All right. Doesn't say shake, so. Oh, it's a paste. Oh, it smells good. This drink smells like bubble gum. So I'm gonna try it on the glass. And it's a dry cloth, so here we go. Reminds me of the blob. It's basically it's a great. Barkeeper's friend might do exactly the same thing. The one reason why I'm using this. It's because they say they're sealant. So for up to three months, it's supposed to keep uh, the hard water. Let's do the areas right here. Okay.
looks clean and it smells like bubble gum. No complaints for me. Um, the tub is done. Um, I have to clean the handle thing. Let's see how good I can get it clean uh, because I need it <laughs> to run the water so I can rinse this whole thing. This may be a satisfying before and after. I'm sure there's going to be areas where I'm going to have to rinse some more probably with a rack, but I'm pretty happy with this. What is it called again? I'll put the link down below. It's called Hard Water Stain Remover. Clear, cleans and seals in one process. Protect and seal it less up to three months. By bio-cleanproducts.com. Share a review and win a hundred bucks. This is awesome, you guys. You gotta get it, you guys. It's a game changer, you guys. Uh, <laughs> I'll share a review. It's really good. It's better than soft scrub. Uh, let's see how it rents though. Okay, taking a break. Be right back. Hey, what do you guys think of the new Delta faucet? <laughs> It looks pretty clean, huh? All right, so the CLR did work very well on the plastic. Um, aluminum, not so much. I mean, it's looking pretty good. Look at that. And then this is looking good too. Okay, I'm going to uh, clean the inside of the truck here. And when I'm done, whew, the toilet. Okay, toilet. Um, I heard that, you remember that? <laughs> That's from the uh, other day. Um, that if you put shaving cream around the base here uh, not only does it clean it but it also eliminates odors so we're gonna try it Smells good. Tell you where else we're gonna put it. Yeah. I put it here. Oh man, it's almost empty. I suppose you need to uh, spread it a little bit. I'm just trying it out, okay? I've never done it before. I don't know if it works. I am here to use the scouring stick for the hard water at the bottom. Oh, they had to wrap it. Why? Okay, be right back. Okay, hard water, scouring stick. Um, how do you like the view inside my toilet? Let's do it. Never a dull moment on this channel. Oh wow. Oh wow. It's almost entirely gone. stick but it's done okay let's clean the toilet look at that it's all clean who would have found huh Let 
me tell you the whole thing about using the uh, cream. I don't know who came up with that, but it's a genius. I mean, yes, it's messy, but I'm telling you, there is not a smell. It really does clean. So how come they're not making those as cleaners? Well, I guess nobody wants to clean this mess. That's why. So, why do people not use that to clean the toilet all the time? Well, it's a little expensive. <laughs> Granted, I put a lot, okay, but um, you probably spend, like even if you go to the dollar store, let's say the can is three bucks, right? Um, three uses, you get out of the can for the whole toilet, so you probably use a buck every time you clean your toilet. I can see <laughs> where it's uh, it's not cost effective, but I gotta tell you, it smells great. It's it's like brand new. It does an amazing job. Okay, I have two things left to do. I have to do the outside here with the bubble gum paste, and I have to do the floor, and then I am done. So I'll be right back. So I'm looking at the outside here and I'm trying to find an area where you can really see the soap scum, but there's really not a lot because I did clean that a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but you can see right here, you know, there's some, not a lot, but there's some. And then this area here, Cillian clean it, um, the CLR was on it. So I'm going to do, I don't know if I need to do the outside because uh, that's not inside the shower. Um, all right, I'll just do it a little bit, but I really want to do the aluminum because I want to show you how much it makes it shine. Okay, so ladies, uh, let's just say the in-laws are coming, right? And you have one of those uh, enclosure. Use this. Oh man, you can't even see it well on camera. It's unbelievable. How clean. Oh, here you go. Look at that. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm not trying to push the product, I'm just amazed. This is the first time I use it and I'm like really, really impressed. Okay. Um, wow, it's like a mirror. Nice, <laughs> really nice. Okay, what's next? <sighs> um, I don't even know what time it is. Oh my God, it's 10 to five. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a good four hours. That's what it takes. Um, granted, I'm filming, you know, I didn't take too many breaks actually. Um, I am thirsty, so I'm gonna take a break. I need to move everything out of here because next is the floor. And the floor, I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel. I'm just gonna go at it with the brush, the hand brush, and the um, soft scrub and then I'll rinse it and rinse it again. And then we'll see what happens. But everything else is done. The sink I did not too many days ago, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, the corner over there is what I really need to focus on. Well, all the corners actually. So be right back. <laughs> Ooh, this is actually really good. Um, Barkeeper's friend probably does the same thing. I never used it, but it's a powder. This is coming out as a, you know, like the soft scrub, but the soft scrub is 
always leave a white residue. This you can just buff it out. It's cool. Okay, be right back. And I'm back and this is the last stretch. I'm going to do the floor. So in the bucket, I have hot water with about a quarter of a cup worth of bleach. I have a toothbrush, a big brush, soft scrub and gloves. I'm gonna wet the floor, add the soft scrub, go at it with the brush, use the uh, toothbrush for the corners, you know, like all the way over there. I'm gonna work my way out of the room. Once I'm done, I'm bringing the bucket with the mop and I mop, mop, mop and wipe off all of the stuff. Let's go. done <laughs> what a difference it smells so good in here um, well I did quite a lot <laughs> that was a lot so to recap uh, look at the bathtub <laughs> this is looking really nice now this this right here is the best um, all the surfaces have been clean whether it's the ceiling um, the glass tiles um, the frame over here uh, the outside of the tub uh, corners down walls down <laughs> um, the walls over there down bathroom down bathroom door where the knob is there was a lot of uh, prints that's gone uh, all of this is clean now you're probably wondering well how come you did the ceiling uh, the ceiling has um, the same type of paint than this. It's a um, gloss and I did it on purpose so that I can actually wash it. <laughs> Except that's the first time I do it since I painted it. But the best is the toilet. That trick with the um, shaving cream is absolutely amazing. Amazing. So yep, bathroom is done. Um, it's not super pretty here, and I did forget the light bulb. I'm tired, guys. And you know what? I gotta go and edit now. So, because you're seeing this tomorrow. Uh, the floor, floor is clean. Um, get a close up. I mean, you know, it's clean. There's nothing else I can say. It's not a shiny type tile, but you saw how much I scrubbed, so. It's definitely super clean. Move that back here. Okay. And that's it. I'm done. That was my bathroom deep cleaning. Whew. What say you? <laughs> that was a lot, huh? Um, it took a little bit over five hours to do the whole thing. I don't want to put the rejuvenate on the tiles yet because I really remember I don't know what I did maybe I used the um, the toilet gel thing um, but I do remember a whole area where I was able to get it like white um, so or maybe it's gonna get whiter as it dries we'll see I'll see tomorrow 
If tomorrow I like the way it looks, the grout on this style, I will definitely rejuvenate the whole thing because that's going to seal it. That was nonsense. Um, my biggest issue is water from the side of the uh, shower. You know, sometimes the kids, they forget to bring the uh, liner all the way to the corner. So there's water that falls on the side of the tub in that corner over there. And it's always grimy. Um, but yeah, you want to see close up here? Hold on. All right, because we were talking about that earlier with the... Um, uh, with the CLR. So I did manage to get all of it out. And there's some areas I'm sure where you notice that there's still, you know, black spots uh, from mold. Um, it's under the cork. So at some point, one of my projects is going to have to be um, getting all the cork out cleaning all of this, making sure it's nice and dry, probably go at it with the blow dryer and re the whole thing. Um, did whoever did this, I don't want to just like complain about whoever did this, but they did it with a cock that's clear uh, instead of a white cock. So you see everything that's underneath it. That's the problem. Um, but this, this is nice. I wonder if you can use it on uh, stainless steel appliances. It really, it didn't make any scratch. There's no, it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. This space is awesome. I'm definitely buying more and I'm gonna use it more. Um, I gotta do my bathtub at some point <laughs> with it. But anyway, um, so that's it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video and if this video motivated you um, to go ahead and do a deep clean. You know, sometimes we just um, do our regular routine, we clean, you know, but we don't do the extent of what I did today. Or maybe you do, and I'm the slob. Quite possible. <laughs> More than likely, actually. Um, but if you don't, I give you an idea on how to deep clean a bathroom. Um, and again, remember I did the cabinet the other day, the two um, medicine cabinets are done. The only thing I need to do really is change that light bulb. Um, at some point I got to change the light on the ceiling, but just add that to the list. Um, that's it. So thumbs up if you like this video. Share it if you know somebody who needs encouragement to do some deep cleaning around the house um, or needs motivation. Don't forget to subscribe right here in the corner uh, and hit that bell button so that you're always notified when I post a new video. And that would be it. Um, my Etsy shops are down below. And if you want to support this channel and my family, you can choose to go on Patreon and subscribe to my Patreon channel, patreon.com slash challenge. I'll talk to you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.